Okay, um, today we are dealing with the task, uh, what is the molecularity of each of the following elementary reactions? And um, we should write the rate law for each. Um, to answer these questions, we first um, have to explain what a unimolecular reaction is and what a bimolecular reaction is. Um, so at first we got a bimolecular reaction. Um, we have one molecule and it reacts um, to another form of the molecule. Um, for example, we got um, cyclopropane and it reacts to propene. And this unimolecular reaction is a first order rate law, as you can see here. Um, second, we got the bimolecular reactions. We got two molecules um, included in the reactions. We got a reactant A and B, and they are reacting to the products C and D. And um, this is a second order rate law, as you can see here. Um, there's a special form of the bimolecular reaction. Um, it's the bimolecular self-reaction. Uh, the same molecule, um, in this case A plus A, reacts to C and D. Um, and we got an example for that. Um, if you take um, molecular hydrogen here and molecular oxygen, it can react to uh, monochromatic hydrogen and um, hydroperoxyl radical. Um, yes, uh, there is also a form which we're not in need of uh, in this special task. Um, it's the ter or trimolecular reaction. And um, there are three reacting molecules. We got molecule A and B, and they are reacting to um, a product AB and um, this uh, product AB reacts further to uh, with M to C and M and this is um, um, to this these are two consecutive reactions um, with this knowledge we can um, work out the task the given task and we got three um, reactions here and we should say if it is bimolecular or unimolecular. And we got uh, in the task A, we got nitrosyl chloride, um, which is reacting to uh, nitric oxide and chlorine. And it's a bimolecular reaction because you can see we have um, two of these uh, nitrosyl chlorides and they are reacting to two products each. And um, the second reaction is carbon monoxide uh, with nitrate is reacting to nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide. And it's also bimolecular because we have on each side two different reactants or products. Um, the um, order rate laws are given here each and the third reaction is the reaction of tert butyl chloride and it's reacting to um, a form of chloride and it's unimolecular because we have um, just a, a salvation and this is um, separating into two different ions and also the order rate law is given here and that's what it's all about.